oil. Black gold was once Venezuela's cash cow, but not anymore. The country's economic crisis has spared no industry, not even the once booming oil fields that are now on the verge of collapse. Gregory Perez says he's seen the industry change drastically over the past 10 years. As an oil man walking down the street, people used to point and say, this guy has money. Now your salary, your work, it lasts for nothing. Perez now works two additional jobs using his car to run a taxi service and harvesting vegetables just to make ends meet. Jose Bodas, himself a 30-year veteran of the oil industry, and leader of the Petroleum Workers Union says corruption within the government oil company, PDVSA, is one of the main things that's killing the industry that now accounts for more than 90 percent of Venezuela's export income. They pay contracts three or four times and never build anything. They stole and declare production much above the level that it is. Venezuela's chief prosecutor launched a multi-million dollar corruption probe shortly after taking office that has led to the arrest of the president and five vice presidents of Citgo, as well as workers from Chevron. He accuses his predecessor, who fled the country, of turning a blind eye to embezzlement. But Bodas says Maduro's government itself is also to blame and wants voters to remember that when they go to the ballot box in May. It is a government that criminalizes protests and repress workers a government which is profoundly anti-worker. This government is not progressive. It is a fraud. Rampant inflation has reduced the average wage for oil workers to the equivalent of just $2 a month. As a result, workers have fled the country in their tens of thousands to go to neighboring nations to find jobs. Those that remain, like Perez, wrestle with broken equipment, refinery fires, and attacks by criminal gangs. We've been attacked, hit, robbed of our own stuff and the company's stuff, be it clothes, boots, phones, everything. Perez, himself injured in an oil rig accident, says he has no choice but to stay. People keep working in oil because they are threatened by the government. They're not giving permits, they're not letting anyone leave. CNN reached out to the Maduro government for a response, but has not yet received one. Meantime, oil production in Venezuela continues to fall, slipping to its lowest level in 30 years, creating even more upheaval in an already decimated economy. For Perez, that means at times he can't even...